Welcome back. Halloween can be frightful for those with allergies and asthma for several reasons. And today we welcome Dr. Rajiv Arora from Family Allergy and Asthma with a look at some common Halloween triggers and some advice for what you should do to make sure your children and family stay safe. Thank you so much for being with us today. Great. Thank you for having us. So this is a time when folks who are keeping an eye out for different allergy issues really need to be on guard, right? It's, it's definitely true. Uh, Food allergies affect three to five percent of people in the United States, and so it ends up being a big deal, especially this time of year when parents have their kids getting various snacks and candies and treats on Halloween. So identifying uh, those food allergies is important, and then having a strategy to keep the kids safe who have those food allergies is just as important. And you've come up with a list of some of the common things that may cause problems for for those with allergies. Exactly, and. Uh, the most common food allergens are things like peanuts, tree nuts, egg, wheat, milk, soy, and then seafood. And so in snacks, obviously, peanuts and tree nuts are big ones, but also milk and soy are there. And there are even some less common ones. A recent study just came out uh, identifying gelatin as a potential uh, uh, major allergen, too. And so knowing those allergies is important, but then also having your kids realize the foods that they're supposed to stay away from uh, is also important, and knowing what to do in case a reaction does happen is uh, essential as well. And what is the advice on dealing with a reaction if that's something that a child does get a hold of something they're not supposed to? Well, uh, once the food allergy has been identified, aside from avoidance, uh, a treatment plan for actual reactions uh, is essential, and that includes having self-injectable epinephrine, or EpiPen's a common brand, and uh, knowing how to use it and when to use that as well. And an important thing, too, uh, to realize is that in a lot of the foods that, that you see in Halloween, like the snack-sized treats, they may not have the uh, food out or the ingredients labeled clearly like other foods do, and sometimes the regular size food may not contain the allergen, but the fun size still can, so that's something to be aware of as well for parents. Good point. Also, asthma is something that can be an issue this time of year. Tell us why that is. Uh, that can be an issue because in asthma, uh, Asthma can be triggered by anything potentially irritating, and going outside, the cold weather is a potential irritant. Other things that we wouldn't normally see the rest of the year, like the, the fog machines, uh, burning candles with different scents, those can all be irritants for asthmatics, so it's important to be careful for that and try to avoid them as well. Uh, as well, uh, another uh, issue is potentially mold in the leaves, so the, the leaves are all out and we like to run through them and jump in piles of leaves, but that can release mold into the air and can trigger kids who have asthma. And also, um, costumes can run a, a risk for um, latex allergies and also uh, aggravating asthma. That's right, that's right. Uh, costumes oftentimes will be stored away and the dust mites can build up in there and, and uh, then the child gets exposed if they're allergic or have asthma, that can trigger it. So definitely if you're taking out costumes that have been stored, wash them in hot water would be a recommendation. Some costumes contain latex, and if your child is allergic to latex, that can cause a rash. Uh, sometimes even uh, in more severe latex allergy, it can cause worse symptoms as well. So be aware of those and be careful. Well, some great advice and some things to keep in mind so you have a happy and safe Halloween. And at the bottom of your screen, you've been seeing the website for Family Allergy and Asthma and also their phone number here in Lexington if you're interested in learning more. And as you mentioned, finding out exactly what allergies you may have is, is key to setting up your plan to, to fight them. Exactly. That's the first step. Thanks so much for being with us. Great. Thank you so much, Chris. We will be right back with more news and weather after this.